Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Ayatullah with another new video, Revit Structure. You know, I mean, till our previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll create every types of element for our structure. So if I just open that, and also I've shown you that how will draw beam, column, floor slab, then isolated foundation, then combined foundation. So in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how we'll create pile foundation and pile cap. So suppose if you need any pile foundation or pile cap, then how we'll do that in this lecture, I'm just going to show that. Okay, suppose here, uh, I'll just create a pile cap. Let's say I'll just select and delete that. I'll, I'm just giving a sample uh, review here that how we'll create pile cap. Clear? So for that, I'll just go here, floor level, and here we'll create our pile cap. So to create pile cap, you just come to you have to come here then new then family and from family which unit you want to select actually the family template uh, my only available template is english i okay then i'll just go down from here i'll just go down and i'll go more down here a structural foundation okay i'll consider that option a structural foundation and here you will see a cross sign then open and here this is our cross sign now first of all we'll draw our piles to draw pile i'll just click here extraction i'll click on it and here i'll draw a and before draw you can do that you can give a depth so what will be depth of your pile i'll consider uh, 20 feet okay and that will be obviously minus 20 feet minus 20 feet depth after that simply create here a, sorry uh, from here select the rectangle option and if your pile are in circle then you can use the circle option so i will consider my pile is a rectangle pile a rectangle pile then i will just click on it and here uh, consider that your depth are minus 20 feet okay and here the extraction is minus 20 so it's done after that anywhere i'll just create a pile okay i'll just create a pile like that and after that i'll click on it okay and here i'll just select that one and double click so from here you'll be able to see the dimension of your pile okay after double click so how much actually you record i'll consider a 12 inch pile in that direction and also in that sorry for here you have to click here to change its dimension also for it i'll consider a 12 inch pile so here a pile i have created after that simply click on that check mark and here this is your pile okay and uh, your pile dimension is on fit and don't fit now we'll just copy that after selecting that pile you simply select here and use that option copy and obviously click here multiple so that we can create multiple copy and with respect to any point okay so if i consider that point then we'll be able to find out side to side distance of our pile so i'll click here and in that direction okay in that direction how much will be distance so i'll consider our total distance will be now uh, consider our one pile to another pile distance will be 3.5 feet enter again go in that direction and uh, must remember your that middle line should be uh, visible here i mean it should be horizontal then again 3.5 feet then enter is done after that uh, escape okay and go to here view in 3d view one and select all of them from here and go to reference level again okay after coming here reference level again click here uh, copy see you and uh, with respect to that point i'll draw our pile so from here with respect to that point i'll just go in that direction in a vertical direction okay how much uh, 3.5 feet clear so here again i'll just go in that direction how much three point i'll, I'll consider nine pile pile cap okay uh, so then 3.5 feet like that after that you can skip that 
so if you go in 3d view just see we have just created and if you see that in shared view just see we have created our pile here again i'll just come here okay now i'll just move that pile but before that uh, okay first of all i'll move that pile for that i'll just go in 3d view i'll select them go to reference level and i'll use that move of move tools and by using that move tools uh, with respect to that middle point i'll just come here i'll zoom it and simply i'll just move it here like that it is very easy again by using that move tool again i'll select that point and i'll just go um, horizontally and move that point and here carefully do that so we have find out our center point of our pile okay now again i'll just go here create from here i'll use extraction and what will be the depth now what will be the depth of your pile cap actually i'll remove that minus sign and i'll consider that our uh, depth of our pile will be 20 inch then one feet and eight inch sorry um, one feet and eight inch one feet and eight inch and what will be the offset actually from that in point of your pile what will be the offset i'll consider our offset will be uh, 10 inch we'll consider a 10 inch of sorry not 10 feet 10 inch offset clear then simply enter and after i mean by coming here with respect to that point too sorry i have just taken i mean i have taken line so i'll take taken i will take that rectangular option and all of our value is okay so from that corner to that corner just see we have created a file cap perfectly after that simply click here and go to 3 view again just see we have created our pile cap by pressing shift and middle point of your mouse you can see that clear now if you need to uh, edit that you can also edit that like that okay so after when it's done then you can just come here and click here save as then save as family okay then i'll just save that for our further use so i'll uh, save it on our okay document i'll take a new folder here and i'll give its name file cap 9 file okay file cap 9 file then i'll save it point save then just simply click here load into project i'll just go here reference okay and i'll go load into project just see here now it's available here and uh, must remember your it, it should be uh, footing level and just come here and like as previous do it here clear then skip it's done as uh, just see we have uh, provided our pile and if we go in 3d view you see how easily we have created our pile and we have uh, provided our pile cap under our foundation actually i have just uh, uh, showing you that because if you need to draw pile for your structure then how will do that okay but for this structure i'll not create pile is it clear to you then i'll just go back okay so it's done this is your original project and from our next lecture i'll show you that how we'll assign load on our structure and how we'll go for our analysis and design so thank you thank you very much if you follow our channel and if you really love me if you really like me and if you also li like our video then obviously support us and to support us you can join our channel by uh, pressing join button uh, okay so thank you thank you very much show your support and love us thank you thank you very much